you think HCVT has grown faster than most CPA firms? I think it's probably a combination of, of two factors. I mean, one, we've had pretty steady organic growth internally over the years. And then the other thing that's really fueled our growth is that we've had very good luck attracting some talented senior people from other firms, uh, big four firms and some other regional firms, and that is, uh, has really added to our growth. So what type of marketing does HCVT do? Uh, the marketing that we do is, is, is not much in the traditional sense. We don't have uh, a lot of PR effort or full-time marketing people on staff. I think most of what we do from a marketing standpoint is just developing the relationships with our existing clients and referral sources, and that's where most of our business ends up coming from. And uh, we, you know, we have a pretty good website, and that seems to be the increasing focus of a lot of people when they want to learn something about the firm, but we don't, uh, we don't have an ad campaign or, uh, or spend a lot of effort in traditional marketing areas. Do you have specific growth targets? Uh, at our firm, we don't uh, target growth like some, say, public companies would, where they'll project out and say, we want to be up 10% this year or 12% next year, or things like that. I think what we're trying to do primarily is grow fast enough that we create opportunities for the people that are here. So we've got people who are at the senior level that want to become managers, people at the manager level that want to become partners, and we want to grow consistently and fast enough to give those folks the chance to, to move up. But we're not as concerned about whether we would double in the next three years or double in the next 10 years. And do you plan to open more offices? I think the odds are we will. Um, what started out uh, almost a little accidental in terms of having three offices right off the bat has become much more of a formal strategy for us. And most of it relates to just the nightmare of trying to get around in Southern California. And so we've found that even though there might be a little additional cost to having more smaller locations, it pays back multiple times just in, in less brain damage and less travel time for, uh, for many of the people that are able to work much closer to home. Thanks for joining me. You're very welcome. Thank you, Roland. Derek? Yeah, I second it to me. Okay. Three, two, and one. Tell us about your smoothie. It was uh, blueberries, bananas, and uh, you know, a little bit of protein. It was terrific. <laughs> I highly recommend those smoothies. You should uh, you. march right over to Sports Club LA There's for a smoothie. Advertising, which will make some money out of it. <laughs> Okay. Thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Happy to be here. What do you think are HZVT's competitive advantages? I think we have very talented people within the firm uh, who still like the professional and the technical side of the profession. So I think that's one of the advantages we have over some firms. And I think we have a, a really good service ethic throughout the firm. I mean, the people that work here in all areas are, are very focused on trying to keep uh, clients happy, even when it's demanding to do that. What strengths does HCVT have that may not be readily apparent to people outside the firm? I think some of the kind of the hidden gems around the firm are probably some of our operational uh, folks and departments internal. Uh, we got a terrific IT department that it literally runs 24-7 and keeps everybody in touch and connected. Uh, we have great HR and finance folks. We have uh, a terrific training department and recruiting department. So I think some of the, the untold areas of the firm or the, the more hidden areas of the firm end up being one of our real strengths. What personal attributes make someone a better fit at HCVT? I would say 
personal attributes that would work well here would include a sense of urgency. I think uh, our firm tends to get a little frustrated when people don't have a sense of urgency, so that would be one thing that you'd like to see check the box on, a, uh, on an applicant is, uh, is willingness to try to get things done quickly when it's necessary and, and maybe along with that not uh, overly frustrated by a whole bunch of things coming at you at one time. You know, some people would call it multitasking. It's probably more quickly shifting tasks. Um, and I think that, that plays out very well here with our clientele. What do you think are HCBT's best opportunities in the near term as distinct from the longer term? I think in the, in the short run, some of our best opportunities are doing a little bit more work with some of our existing clients than we do now. And, uh, and extending those client relationships to some of their affiliated entities and other investments that they're involved in. 